If you had one advice to give the gentlemen, 70% of who decide not to use condoms, and then about 7 million men who are having sexual relations with women who are not their wives, what do you say to them? Yes, yeah, so I was saying that no woman offers sex for free. And if a woman is actually offering sex for free, you should think about it and ask why she's doing that. There must be a reason behind it. Maybe she it likes be... you or... No, no. She wants no. to cohabit or... It's really on the rise where ladies have contracted HIV and they are willing to give it out to men for free. Like, they don't want anything. Just, you know, a sexual intercourse and then that's it. You pick up the virus. So... <laughs> For a woman to offer you sex mm. for free, think twice. That's all I would say. The, the, and this this is based on your interaction with people who... Yes. People have who have actually tested positive mm -hmm. and are angry with the world because they want to, like, take revenge and spread it to people. It's really difficult dealing with such people. So they, so they walk up to the men and offer sex for free? Yes. I mean, like, it's a relationship. Like, what's up? Mm. They're together and then the next thing you know, she's giving it to you. She's moving on to the next person. Yes. Wow. And, and that is happening as we speak? Yes. Yes. It's happening as we speak. Wow. So there's no free lunch anywhere, really? No. There isn't. Mm, I see. Doctor, I thank you very much. Dr. Omaima M. Arab. She's a medical doctor with the Ghana uh, Greater Accra Regional Hospital joining us here. Shocking revelation, if you ask me. Helen. Very, very shocking. Mm. And, and actually, I'm quite surprised to hear Doc say <clears throat> this. Um, I got tested.